as a kid, I would always uh, try to pick up what I saw my father doing on the drums when he was practicing. And also I would listen to records and learn the beats that the drummers were doing on the records. And then I would play along with the record like as if I was playing. That groove was from the live album by Maze featuring Frankie Beverly live in New Orleans, a song called I Got You, which was the intro song to that live album, which was one of my favorite beats. And I would listen to that record over and over again until I got that specific groove down. Uh, another groove that I learned at age three was from my favorite record, uh, Commodore's Live. And the song that I first played when I was three was Brick House off of that record. Because my father would always play it for me every time I would come home. And um, when I got my drum set for Christmas, I just, um, I just got on the drums and uh, it just came natural. Um, There's something that I, I just, when I listen to something so much and I have it in my ear and I hear it all the time, it just I just knew what to do when I got on the drums. At an early age, the only thing that I practiced was grooves. I never really thought about the technical side. Honestly, I wasn't even interested in that, and because uh, all I knew was groove. One thing that I like to point out is something that I learned from listening to Larry Blackman and listening to Diamond from the Ohio Players is they always would hold off on the two. When it comes to playing two and four, every verse they would hold off on the two and bring the snare back in on the four. In other words, if they're playing a groove, when they hit the one, they would either they would hit the one with the bass drum snare drum and crash on the one and hold off on the two, bring the snare back in on the four. It kind of leave it kind of lets the the groove in the song breathe.